Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of My Time at Sandrock, where apparently it is JD's in birthday game. In birthday game, in game birthday, which I didn't know until it told us. Um, so are these, yeah. Oh, hmm. I think she wants to, you want a simple chair. Okay. So that's to play. Catch you later. Uh, wait. Birthday gifts? Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I brought you a gift. I hope you like it for your birthday. Oh, birthday gifts. Wait, really? Oh my gosh, people are coming over for JD's birthday. Hey, there's a gift for me. You brought me a gift too. Oh my gosh, y'all, that's all so nice. Here's a gift. I wish you happiness, not just for the whole year. Oh, thank you guys so much. That's so cute. Okay, we got a hair dryer. Um, look at what I got for your- it's a dryer used for clothes, hair, anything really. Just blow your worries away. Happy birthday. Um, an amber from Unsure is really unique. It's like you, unique, special, and millions of years old. Maybe not so much like you. Happy birthday. I found this. Thought you could put it to good use. Let's quickly, uh, hold on. Just, just in case I run out of space. Okay, better. Um... Happy, oh my gosh, that's beautiful. I made you a piece. I think it's particularly beautiful. Hope you enjoy it. Yeah, I went to Hugo's and got a whole bunch of useful junk for your birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah, steel bars. Uh, oh my gosh, I needed this so bad. Thank you. Oh my gosh, that was so cute. Okay, and this, and Mama's reply. So great to hear all these good things happening so soon after your arrival. It doesn't sound like coincidence to me. You know, your grandmother took fifth place in the Free City Games for archery. So there's greatness in our genes. Not that that matters. Everyone has greatness in them. But your grandma would be proud of you. Love you lots, Ma. Mama. That's so cute, Mama. Okay. Sorry. Gecko. Hi. How are you doing? Do you want hugs? Gecko. Do you think... Macchiato is coming home today. Look at you, you little cutie patootie. And then... We'll get some water. I feel like that's always been there. But at the same time, I don't. Horsey? What is that? What is that in the distance? Why is that so... I don't know. I don't know why I'm just noting... <laughs> was that... Like, I'm sitting here like, was that here yesterday? Why does it seem like it... Was it? Uh, maybe I'm going crazy. Okay. We've got stuff to get for sure. Stuff to get. Stuff to do. Stuff to find. So much stuff. Okay. But first. This. Iron plates. Now we need those. Let's do this. Okay. Now... That's done. Actually, you can make more. Cool. Um, okay, let me see. If we, I don't think, right, we can't make any of the, right. So those are made, so that's the civil processor. Okay, I just want to make sure this, this, I need this. So just make me as many as you can. And I'm gonna pick up more. So then we can do a few more of those. Okay, good. Beautiful. That is going strong. And then this. Perfect. Copper scrap is in the queue and we'll add two more. And that will finish off the copper scrap. Once the copper scrap is done, if you could work on that. I like it that we kind of have like one, I don't want to call it like a catch-all machine. But he's doing like the smaller stuff right now, which is really working out well. Uh, and then we've got the big ends doing like the big stuff just on repeat. This I really like this system a lot. It's actually pretty, pretty sweet. Okay. Oh, I forgot we had this uh, furnace. Let's just build more of those. We are once again out of copper. Can I just tell Rocky to send me copper? Okay. And I can do the bronze pipes. Okay. So now I need two steel frames. <gasps> Horsey. Hold on. This. And 
That was so nice that people brought us birthday gifts, though. I don't know if I've ever played a game outside of, like, Porsche, maybe, where that happens. That's, like, the cutest thing. Um, can I make... Okay, no, you can't. Heidi, I want to give you that, but I can't. Because I need them. Mm. Let's see. And then I also have... Yeah, no, I don't have anything for that. Um... What is this? Tanned leather. No, I don't think so. We still have the filtration core. You know what? I can always get more. That might seem silly, and I'm not regretting it, but regretting it. Uh, let's see if we can do the hardwood. I took the hardwood fence cue, uh, knowing that, you know, that was going to be a foolish idea too. But I need money. Apparently, I can do it. Wait, did I do it? I only I need one more. Okay, what do we need? Uh for eat. Oh, hardwood stick. Oh, easy peasy. I have a machine. Doing nothing. Right. Undo that. Quick build. Thank you. Perfect. Cause he was just doing extra stuff. So that will be there for that. Let's did we pick up the fish? Yes. Okay, horsey. Horsey, horsey, horsey. I bet I have meat, but we're gonna go get... We have to get leather. Horsey, though. I'm telling you right now, Macchiato best be coming home today. I'm gonna have... War there you... Oh, there's my derpy cat. There's my derpy... Don't run away from me, Macchiato! I'm gonna adopt you today if it's the last thing that I do. Macchiato! Macchiato! Okay. Meow. Hello, my derpy child. Hi! Listen, I went fishing for you late last night. Just for you. Move in. Yeah. No. Yeah. What do you mean, no? What do you mean you still an associate? <sighs> we'll get there. We will get there. We will 100%. Wait. He loves opals. Did I get an opal from Unsure today? For my birthday? Oh, no. Did I have one and not know? I forget if he gave opals. Mm. No, he gave me amber. Never mind. Do I have an opal anywhere? I don't know. Okay, we should double check that. Cap! Hi, hi. Oh my gosh. I love your little hat. How are you doing? Do you want a hug? Do you want a sand one? Okay. Okay. Nemo, hi. You're so cute. Do you want a gift? Here. I know diminishing returns and all that, but I'll take it. I'll take it for a minute. Just to give you something. Okay. Is that bird just down there? Okay. Um. And the price of water has gone up so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to be careful what's up burgess here you go thank you no thank you <gasps> oh my gosh burgess became my buddy and matilda became my associate everybody likes us all of a sudden y'all good excellent i love that okay well, let's go this way There's... Who is this? <gasps> Meerkat! Hi, Meerkat! Hi, hi! You're so cute. Can I gift you... One of these? Okay. You two will move in! Everybody will move in. Hey there! Hey! Hope the pressure's not getting to you too much. No, I'm fine. Hmm? You're trying to find out more information about Logan, huh? Yeah, I am. <laughs> Well, ain't that cute? Why is that cute? I'm afraid there ain't much more to know than what's already been known. But I suppose I wouldn't mind you proving me wrong on that. Can you look at this photo? What? Yeah, yeah, I made this equipment. So what? <laughs> I can't hardly be held responsible for everything that moves in and out of my shop now, can I? Oh, I'm not <laughs> saying that. What are you implying, huh? Nothing! You got a lot of nerve. I'm not- I'm afraid there ain't much more to know than what's already been known. But I suppose I wouldn't mind you proving me wrong on that. 
Did you see Logan the night of the incident? Huh? Yeah. Did you? So what if I did? What was I supposed to do? His mind was made up. If you had half a mind left at all. Look, I was close with Howlett and Logan as well. What happened to that man was a gosh dang travesty. But that's just the way things are out here sometimes. All it takes is one slip up and you're gone. I always considered myself to be like an uncle to Logan. I would have taken him in, but I guess he didn't see it that way. I'm sorry, Hugo. I worry about what Logan might do. And I worry about how the more things escalate, the less likely I'm ever going to see that pup I used to know ever again. There ain't going to be an admirable sediment at the end of all this. So don't over-involve yourself. Too late. I am already way over the top involved. I'm so involved. There's no getting out. Be seeing ya. See ya. Okay. So it's one less person to talk to about this stuff. So what's also on my map? Uh, th right. And then, what is this? Oh, that's probably Venti. Okay. And then that... More. I still gotta drop that off to... There's something at a... Oh no, there's something at a mirror's house? What happened there? Also, today's clinic day. Right? It's Wednesday. Mercy. Off we go. We'll go talk to Fang. And then we'll... Um, go over and... Well, first we'll, we'll head to Fang. We'll do the experiment. And then we'll talk to Fang about all of this. Uh, and I think that should do nicely. Uh, blue. I feel like blue today. How'd I do? Uh, JD? Sweetie? Wakey, wakey. Wakey, wakey. Noted. Thanks. I'm okay, though. Uh, can I show you the photo of the medical notes? No answer. No. Okay. <laughs> Did you see Logan the night of the temple attack? <laughs> okay. Okay. It was worth it was worth a shot. Who am I chatting yeah! with? Ah! Okay. Wait, if I gift, who am I gifting? Fang. Okay. I can't gift Fang anything though. X, I need you to come talk to me. Oh, also, we're like so close to Mort. Let's just drop off this gift for Mort. Also, we're so close there. Do we go get some seeds and straw and stuff? Probably. Let's be resp Oh my gosh, when did it get to be so late? Horsey, where's the day going? If it's not too much trouble, might I make a request? My wife and I were here from the earliest beginnings of Sandrock, back when it was a little more than an undiscovered oasis. Through it all, I had a relic camera to chronicle our life. I sorted all the photos inside a photo album, but before the last sandstorm, my memory failed me, and I left the album outside. After the storm, it was <sighs> gone. I made peace with losing the photos, but there may be, uh, there may yet be time to make a few new more memories. Could you make a new photo album for this old soul? Sure thing. Also, Mort. Um, okay, so I can't gift yeah. Mort, um, one of the pictures I found. Because I, didn't we, didn't we find one? I got a, we got, we need paper. I still can't believe Macchiato got his favorite fish today. And he over here like, nope, I'm good. Not moving in. Horsey, this cat. I love him. He's driving me crazy though. Let's do this. So where do we want to put the garden, though? I do not know. How much cash do I even have? Okay. Um, we need... That. For sure. Now. Um... I think we're in the... F okay, so it's just best grown in. Okay. Um... Let's do... Spring and autumn. Bears fruit after five days. Three by three. Okay. I'll we'll just take the one. Then... Mm -hmm. Does nothing technically... Oh, that one grows. Oh, sand leaks do. Okay. Um... Horsey doesn't like chestnuts for some reason. I mean... Horsey is a particular kind of horse, though. So I don't think it surprises anybody uh, that Horsey doesn't like wheat. I mean, Horsey will eat it, but he, it's not like his favorite, you know? Which is still very Horsey-like. 
Or see, what is my, uh, what is my quest log right now? It has not shrunk at all. I gotta go do that. Shrunk at all. Is this, okay, that's not timed. That is not timed as well. Gone with the wind. I gotta go make a photo album. All right, not there. That's not timed. That's not timed. Okay. I gotta make a saddle. Okay, horsey. Let's go make a saddle. We gotta go... I was going to go into the mines today, but I think collecting leather and making or like collecting the ingredients for leather so we can make Morton album and stuff like that is top tier level of importance. Also, we should be able to make Burgess a fence now. So do we quickly go do that and then find Burgess just so that way we get the bonus because we should have the bonus for finishing stuff in a day. So let's do that. Woo! Thank you! Um... This? Yeah, okay, all done. Let's do that. Let's make the fence. Let's make it. Hardwood fence. Done. Okay. Burgess is where? Where's he? Where's Burgess? That way. Probably out monitoring stuff? Oh no, Burgess is this over here. Right here, right he here. Oh no, I fell in the water, Burgess. Okay, hold on. this, there we go. Hi Burgess, you're still, you're still here. Here you go. Hmm. You're welcome. Also. You know, I've been told that I'm not too bright. That's not but true. I don't really see how that's possible since I always follow the light. I would agree with you. I would agree. Have a good day. Thanks. You too, Burgess. Okay. So, that's done. Now, horsey, follow. Why I am not using you is once again a mystery beyond mysteries. But JD figures you need a break. That's what we're gonna go with, a break. All right, we need a whole bunch of leather. We still got so many people that, well, we're getting low on people to talk to for this, this quest, which I'm fine with it taking a little bit to get done. Like there's no rush on any of this. I'm trying to balance it with everything, so. Okay. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for the reminder. Oh gosh, the reminders in this game, top freaking tier. I don't, did we ever do this little black box thing before? I don't know. Okay, let's just do this one and then we'll call it, right? We can always come back and beat up more later. But I don't want to miss out on... That's because I am super curious. Okay, also, if we see anybody on the way back, we'll, um, we'll talk to them about everything. I kind of weird that you don't have to talk to Mabel or Cooper. Like, none of them were involved whatsoever in all of this, which is actually really interesting. Okay. We'll just wait out here. Because nobody's, like, there's somebody kind of, like, two people kind of sort of near us, but not, like, near enough for this. Okay, we can go in now. Hey, we got started without you. Hope you don't mind. Not at all. So, yeah, like I was saying, I've tried everything. Drilling, heat, dropping it off the crane lift. Hmm. Yes. I don't suppose you have a steel ball on you, do you? Oh, sure, but... Steel bar? What the... You... I... We... What? Here's your bar back. Th thank you? Thank you director whoa look at all this old stuff and there's a letter it's a time capsule i hope you're reading this under the light of the sun again and not still from the darkness it's been 60 years since that event which some people are starting to call the day of calamity i hope this capsule can travel through time and show that whatever happened there was some warmth in these dark times Oh. Wishing you luck and a bright sun, Hicks. 
by Peach. It's a time capsule from the Age of Darkness, from right around the time of the first builder, Victor. What are the odds of us finding this? Wow, and everything here is preserved perfectly. What do you want to look at? Um, the handbook. Reclamation of Past Technology by Victor. This is probably a copy of one of the original documents from the first builder. It's the same book that most builders read when they first study, or they're first studying the learn to learn the trade. Look around you, it's a scene from the apocalypse, but it's also a treasure trove of wonders. If the human race is to survive this dark winter, we will need to make full use of the technology left over from before the war. Victor really knew how to look on the bright side even without a sun. It's a one of those diagrams used by the first builders. It looks like a simple furnace, not that much different from yours. Um, pickaxe? It's a standard looking enough looking pickaxe made of stone. Perhaps Hicks never learned to make anything sturdier than this, or perhaps he didn't want to part with one of his better tools. His wooden handle is a bit flimsy, but doing pretty well considering its age. Shows no sign of rot, suggesting that the box was airtight. Uh, power stone. Like any other, probably still usable. The note reads, use this to generate energy. Perhaps Hicks was worried people might lose track of how to use power stones in the future. What should I say? Okay. Hmm. Unfortunate. Based on the approximate age of the box, I was hoping we'd find something undiscovered. These are all objects of interest, but I'm afraid none are particularly unique. This letter has a bunch of stuff about gangs and hurting people. Director, was the Age of Darkness really that bad? Ah, I hadn't realized you had failed your history classes. How surprising. <laughs> Allow me to enlighten you. Yes. In fact, this letter is rather tame in its descriptions. In the first 50 years after the Day of Calamity, the surviving population were lucky to locate even one proper meal per day, resulting in desperate panic and constant tribe-like warfare over resources. In combination with the poor nutrition, poor hygiene, and lack of sunlight, which led to various physical ailments and illnesses, the result was the lowest average life expectancy in human history. All in all, the era is quite suboptimal for research, and I for one am rather glad to exist currently. Gosh, that sounds so horrible! But at the same time, it really is amazing there were people back then like Hicks here who never lost hope. Yeah, it really is. Can you imagine? If it wasn't for heroes like Hicks and Peach, we might still be underground and worrying about where our next meal might come from. Director... Ahem. <clears throat> Social history is not exactly an interest of mine. I suggest if you have more questions, you do your own research or... Or someone who cares. She. Um, sure, director. Thanks for all your help. Wow, what a find! I knew a bit about the Age of Darkness, but this is my first time getting such a hands-on experience with history. We need to try hard to carry on the legacy of these people from the past. Agreed, hundred percent. That gives me an idea. Oh. Say, why don't we make our own time capsule? Okay. It could be our chance to contribute our knowledge and experiences to the people of the future. Director, could you draw us out a... No. Please? Uh, fine. I mean, it's just a box. How hard could it be to come up with a design? Why don't you let me figure out what it's made of, and I'll send you a diagram as soon as possible. That sounds great. I knew you'd be into it. While you're working on it, I'll gather up some historical stuff we can put in there. Maybe we can provide the people of the future with something more substantial than our old pal Hicks. <laughs> anyway, once you're done, bring the box to me. Then we'll go bury it. Oh, and let's each also bring one personal item that we want to send to the future. Make sure it's something that doesn't expire. So no food, got it. Okay, it's a plan. Catch up with you soon. Oh man, we're gonna do a time capsule. She's over here like, can you? No. Wait, do we not? Yeah, okay, tomorrow. After that, though, what I think I mentioned before is, did we never do the this? This is next. That 100% is next. I can't believe I forgot to do that. Gee, while I'm here. Come on, chat. I trust your director delivered my diagrams as promised. Yes. I believe you will find this water tower, once constructed, to be quite unexplodable. Yeah, that remains to later. be seen. Have you met us? She? Like, the town overall? 
Ah, uh, Gecko is back. Gee, it'll be quite unexplodable. Have you met us? Don't say something is unexplodable in this town. Um, is there anybody just outside to talk to about this? Like, I do like that we're kind of slow rolling this portion. Macchiato, I can't believe you won't just move in. Pablo! Howdy, feel that? Exactly. It's nothing. There's no fashion in the air here. No passion, no beauty. Now, which bag to pack? The stripy one or the one with little diamonds on it? Catch you later. I mean, I don't know how they'd hold up in the desert, but... Right, there's a thing for Amira up here, too. Mm. Matilda, can I talk to you for a minute? Howdy there. Hey. Any news to report on the water tower? Yeah, can I show you a photo real quick? Goodness, now wherever did you find this? Don't ask questions that you probably don't want the answer to, but it was 100% for sure not because we broke into Logan's house. You know, you don't need to be sneaking around, acting all suspicious, Too if late. all you're after is information. Oh, what if we like that? Yes, this makes sense. Although I must admit, this shows a level of organization from Logan I can't say I was aware he might be capable of. I've heard that one before. No doubt you've started to put things together since your arrival, but perhaps you'd best hear the tale in its entirety to dispel any misconceptions you might have about the whole ordeal. Yes, please. Not too long before you started living in Sand Rock, a great tragedy struck this town. Howlett, the monster hunter, and his son Logan, with whom you are already quite familiar with, ran into some trouble. Howlett went diving in some ruins explicitly blocked off by the Civil Corps due to an abundance of unknown and dangerous substances. Sure enough, he became contaminated with something bizarre. Logan reacted rather wildly after Pastor Miguel quarantined his father inside the temple and refused to let Logan come in contact with him due to fears of contamination. He couldn't believe his father would be so careless as to come in contact with dangerous Age of Corruption concoctions. One night during the quarantine, Logan attacked the temple with bombs. I assume it was to free his father from the quarantine. But whatever the case, Logan botched the operation and parts of the temple collapsed. Us church folk were all outside, but Logan's father was still in there where we'd left him, and when we found him down there, he was already gone. Logan blamed us church folk for what happened, and now he seems bent on some kind of revenge. And he'd sooner take down the whole town if it means getting to us, I reckon. Howdy there. Any news to report on the water tower? Yeah, did you see Logan the night of the explosion? Well, of course. I was there at the scene of it all, as were most of us. I came out after the explosion, but by the time I knew what was going on, Logan was long gone. I appreciate your concern on the matter. But I fear there's not much we can do but trust in the acumen of our civil corps to bring Logan to justice. Without hurting him too much, I hope. Try not to get discouraged. There are brighter days ahead, I'm sure of it. I love your optimism. <laughs> okay, so we only need to talk to Penn, Miguel, and Jasmine. And it's getting kind of late, so we'll probably save the rest of this for next episode because i want to get elsie's saddle made and stuff like that so let's do this let's go you back out and get a few more yak mills worth of leather because the book's gonna take leather as is um it looks like the saddle hi <laughs> And then we desperately need to go digging into the other ruins. I think I bought a pass already that's like, or I bought a pass that it's already expired. That's fine. Um, but after we do that, do we quickly go get some steel? Yeah, horsey, we should. We should sincerely go get some steel. What is this now? Uh, potatoes? Tomatoes? Okay. I mean, that's just here now for, uh, 
any future stuff. Like, I just like it that <laughs> if you go over here enough, it'll be, uh, it'll be ready for you. Also, we gotta consider at some point, horsey. Um, what is it? Get in a barn and a chicken coop. Cause I'm wondering if they're like egg commissions we're not getting because we don't have chickens. Could be kind of cute, right? I know we don't have the space. We have so little space. We gotta make the space, horsey. We could do it. I believe in us. Don't look at me like that. Horsey's like, I'm not cleaning up after chickens. But I wasn't asking you to. I'll clean up after them. It's not like I don't do my fair share of chores around here. So that I think is the overall plan. <laughs> like I know we bought the seeds so we can grow more stuff. And I said, I know I don't want to plant over in the corner, but it's seeming like right now that might be what I have to do. I don't know though. Like in my head, I'm trying to see how I want this all to go. And I, I don't necessarily have a plan, plan, plan. Like I know kind of what I'd like. I don't know if it's possible though, given that I'd probably end up spending like two to three episodes just like completely decimating the entirety of JD's property and kind of starting from scratch, if that makes sense. Like that to, that to me would be the only way to really get things the way that I want, but I'd want a a bigger budget than the, the like 2000 goal I have. What? The 5,950 goal I have now, plus more living space. So that might be something, but like, I don't... I think my problem, like, for that I myself put myself into for games like these is I tend to be like, well, I'll wait until we get more space and more this and more that. Um, and then I end up, like, redoing the house at the late game. And it's like, but well, you've already played so much of this game that you're not going to enjoy the house because you waited so long. You know what I mean? So I kind of also want to try making sure that we get JD a nicer place earlier so then that way um you know she she has that so it's like a balancing act also I shall take this so let's do this that should be plenty right perfect and we got due from that so I think the other thing that I do want to get from Heidi is the ability to basically edit our farm or like our property while we're here. Okay, sort all. Oh. Also, I forgot we have these boots. Hold on. Do I like these boots better? Actually, I do. I do. Okay, do we have any new shirts? No, that's the only thing. I gotta see what Mama Vivi has for, um, for clothes soon. Because... I want a new outfit for JD also. No, that doesn't go there. That I want inside that. Does that have any specialty like house properties to it? Um, where did it go? Uh, defense plus, oh, perfect. And then that, okay. These are all defense. And then this isn't anything. Okay. So like this, you can't, I don't think you can like, you can probably put it down for your house, but like, it's not going to do anything for you. Kind of thing. Also this. So what do I got? Uh, treasure knowledge, do when collecting herbs. Uh, this. When mining gain to receive an extra power stone. Data disc. This mining extra cent chance gem receive an extra gem when you find the first one this one kicking a tree we don't kick trees enough um okay so then that's more xp this is stamina and then this that one's actually not a bad one and then this uh yeah let's do that so that way that's just fully done okay now what time is it? We still got we still got a few minutes. Let's see, horsey. Come back. Well, the, 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 welcome back, Gecko. That's what I wanted to tell you. Welcome back. Okay. Um, steel frame. 
Okay, I need one more of those. I actually think I have that. Oh, I gotta go make paper. We gotta make paper. Actually, can I make like three just to be safe? Didn't I? Wasn't I making those bars? Yes. Good, good, good. Let's do that. And apparently a gecko has gone to bed. Done. Okay, so now that's done. Pick up. Now, what else must we put? Okay, so I guess we'll do the water tank next. I, this is in like legitimately no particular order. Um, I think. Did were we making? Uh, okay, we can't make any more iron plates. Okay. Now, what are you? This. I said we had... Okay. Can you just do that next? I know you were supposed to be the catch-all one, but... But we need more iron scrap to be made. Okay. Good. And... Okay. Let's do that. Perfect. Okay, so we got the rubber... What did I need the rubber rings for? I honestly forget. And I already made that. I have two of those. Also, we're gonna need to get more graphite and I need more fiber mesh. Okay, so the gecko, like the gecko station is like top tier, 100% what we need at this point. Um, Let's just quick build that and just have it. Okay, so at this point, let's see. Four missions. That, that. Right, we can do that in to, like next episode. We're almost done with that. I got one of those done. Flaming saddles. Wait. Did I not build it? I thought I built it. Um. I thought. Did we, did we not? Okay. We have a saddle. I swear I thought I had built it. Okay. We can hand that over to Elsie tomorrow too. That will be made tomorrow. And we're waiting on the diagram. All right. Horsey. I feel good. Y'all, thank you so much for joining JD, Gecko, Horsey, and myself for another episode of My Time at Sandrock. And we will catch you next time. Bye.